Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage Huntsville. Y'all know why y'all here. Uh, anything I say is alleged and in my personal opinion and all of the things. So you guys, another extended clip has dropped ahead of tonight's episode of love and marriage Huntsville. And I'm just trying to understand the messaging. Carlos King, you're trying to post these articles as a distraction from the low ratings that this show is the best thing since life spread that the show is about unity and that this is the best girls trip ever because there was no drama there was no issues but all the clips that have been dropping are all about drama just like the clip about stormy and trisha talking about whatever alleged trish did or didn't happen with martel that would have been around the time he was married to mel now we have this extended clip and this is of course stormy talking about what what happened with the warehouse and her arrest and you know that it was a melameter and all of these things and looking for a response from Mel and Mel is on mute Mel is just looking at Stormy like what do you want me to say what do you want me to do and then Destiny's in the confessional like Mel is just stone faced how could you not have anything to say this is one of your fans blah 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 and it's like here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Obviously, it goes without saying that anybody is not going to condone any behavior that is out of line. This expectation that Mel is in control of anybody uh, needs to be studied because uh, it doesn't matter what she says or does. People do what they want to do anyways. But I find it interesting, Stormy, who I guess she claimed uh, on a live or something that this was her last episode, uh, that she is demanding Mel to say something or denounce something or all of these things. And you have your mom who has been bashing Mel since season one, episode one, before you even came on the show. You have Letitia's brother-in-laws uh, bashing Mel on a daily basis on their Instagrams. You have Letitia's mom and Marceau's mother-in-law uh, completely having an entire platform to bash Mel every day on live. And there is no condemning this. And I don't mean condemning this. Oh, mom, you shouldn't say that with a big grin on your face. No, 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 no. Because here's the thing, you guys don't stop the foolishness of everybody else talking trash that comes directly from your own families, from your own immediate family members, from your own mothers, from your own siblings. You don't shut it down. You don't stop it. You don't stop your own sibling posting pictures of a child with another man trying to allege some other man is somebody else's father and calling somebody's, uh, you know, a cast member and their mom every single name but the child of God. And you expect Mel to sit there and uh, defend whatever did or didn't happen uh, with Stormy in the warehouse? Because depending on who you talk to, uh, some people still stand that, you know, that, hey, uh, Black Titanic's not a millimeter. Some people still, you know, say, hey, there were other things going on or whatever, or this is not the full story that is being portrayed on the show. But again, it is another attempt to make any Mel supporter or Melometers appear to be unhinged, appear to be these psychopaths, appear to be these people who are doing all of this conspiring. And it's like, where are the receipts, you guys? Where are the receipts? And just trying to ambush Mel, 
like Destiny tried, like I said, with uh, the respectful cheating nonsense. Uh, then you have, of course, you know, the girls trying to come for Mel about the rooms. Then you have uh, them trying to, you know, demand Mel to take a stance on the Sunny and Destiny nonsense. And then, of course, we have Trisha and uh, Stormy attempting to, you know, throw this Martell thing in the in into the, you know, uh, against the wall and see what happens. And then now this thing with, you know, trying to make the millimeters an issue. And, and, and it's like, why are you, you know, excusing your own family's behavior, but you're demanding Mel to, you know, say something or do something on behalf of people that she doesn't know on behalf of people that have definitely impersonated themselves pretending to be millimeters uh, so that they could get traction, so that they could get likes and views and subscribers. And, and then it's been a full on hate fest towards Mel. And, and then you have people instigating things that anything in the cast, anything that goes wrong with this cast is somehow a fault of a millimeter or a Mel supporter. And then you have the cast members themselves going in Facebook groups saying that this is all one big conspiracy by the millimeters and that they've all organized all of these things to happen. And it's like, where are you guys getting this stuff? How come you guys cannot accept that there are people who just don't see it for this cast as a whole? That there are people who don't take any of you in the cast seriously? That there are people who believe all of y'all got issues? All of y'all got problems and it's hard to support any of y'all and all of y'all are messy. All of y'all are two-faced and all of these things, but you guys make everything centered around Mel because you want Mel to experience all of this negativity, all of this hate as if y'all didn't sit there while she was being cheated on by Martel and was playing in her face said nothing, did nothing. But now all of a sudden, Mel and Tell aren't together anymore. You want to bring up Martel anytime you're in a scene with Mel. How is that supposed to be moving forward and building a friendship when you're trying to start drama by continuously bringing up her ex, but you're the same person that is saying Mel's trying to destroy your marriage, that Mel uh, is trying to come for your marriage and do all of these things, but nonetheless, none of that stuff has happened. Can you make it make sense? I, I just don't get the hypocrisy that continues to take place with this show and that ridiculous article about basically Mel being ambushed, but the article presents it as, oh, you know, Mel, you know, it was such, you know, a positive girl's trip. It was such a uh, an embracement of sisterhood and all of these things. And I'm like, there are so many things that you left out, i.e. all of the drama that took place on this girl's trip, which is why he's getting dragged on and dragged out for several episodes. But again, it, everything is a walking contradiction because why is Carlos King saying on his own platform that nobody in the cast is responsible for their fans and that nobody should have to speak up and speak out against their fan bases, but yet we have Stormy, who is a bone collector this season, uh, demanding Mel just to do that. You guys are not serious. You're, you're doing articles that are completely the opposite of what actually is taking place on the show for real. And, and then you have Carlos King so that he doesn't get attacked, so that he doesn't get dragged, uh, pretending that, that, that all of this is just, you know, five or ten people that are, are doing all of this that aren't really fans of the show and, and just want to see people hurt and destroyed and all this, and, and that the cast should not have to be the ones to take accountability. The cast should not be the ones to stand up. But what about the same cast card? Carlos that allows their siblings and their moms to say and do the same things to, you know, bash Mel's business, to talk crazy about her and her mom and, and talk reckless about the whole kids. 
but y'all are supposed to be cool with Martel and you're bashing his kids, right? But I guess it's okay because it's the kids that he has with Mel, right? Can you make it make sense? Because it doesn't to me as to, you know, why we're continuing to play this game. This show is airing, you know, this obsession with Mel and Tell still. And Mel's not featuring any of it. This obsession this season with the Melometers, like I said, O needs to cut the check. Because wasting an entire season on the Melometers and then you're going to bring it up at the reunion as well. It, it, it's just insane to me. It, it's giving nobody else on the show has a storyline. It, it's giving nobody else is clocked in. And the only time they're clocked in is when it's time to ambush Mel. Like, 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 when is enough going to be enough? But this is what you guys wanted. You wanted Mel to be humiliated. You wanted Mel to be dragged. You wanted Mel to cuss y'all out and have these reactions. And she's not giving you the energy that you're looking for. So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.